Welcome to Statistics for Surveys, Session 1 Basics, Frequently Asked Question Number 1, Why Code 01 and not 12? The question I'll be trying to answer in this segment is, in Web Lecture Segment 1, Session 1, uh, Segment 2, I mentioned that it's recommended to code value 0 and 1 rather than, for example, 2 and 1, if there are only two options. And I often get the students asking me, why is this? In order to show why it's often preferred to code as 0, 1, I'll be using two different examples. The first one is which, uh, is which percentage is male. Now, in order to answer this, we will need two things. We will need to know how many males there are and how many cases there are in total. If I would have coded male and female as two and one or the other way around one is female and two is male and in order to answer how many males there are i will have to actually evaluate each and every case one by one so i would say the first one is a one which is female so doesn't count the second one is also a female so doesn't count the third one is a two and that therefore does count. And this one is female again, so no. This one is male, so yes. This one is male, so yes. Uh, this one is female, no. This one's female, no. This one's female, no. And this one's male, so yes. So in total, I have one, two, three, four males. So in total, there are four. There are in total one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different cases. So that's four over ten, which is 0 0.4. So multiply it by a hundred, and we nicely get that this is equal to 40%. The big problem here is that we have to evaluate each case one by one. Now, if I would have coded this as a zero is male, uh, is female, and one is male, like this, I can actually, I've actually already done that because notice that each cross is a zero and each tick mark is a one. So all I now need to do is add up these, just as we did before. So that's a total of four again, so we get the same result. Of course, the number of cases didn't change, so that's still 10, so the result will still be 40%. But by having coded it as zero and one, I no longer need to evaluate each case one by one. So this is one example where hopefully it becomes clear that coding it as 0, 1 has a benefit in calculation wise. And now this was only 10 cases, so the difference wouldn't be uh, huge. But if you have, let's say, 50,000 cases, then this can actually save quite a lot of time. Here's another example. Let's say I've asked people which sports they played and I would like to know now how many sports they play in total. So for example I've asked if they people play football, hockey, tennis or volleyball and in this style I've actually used a coding of one is do not play and two is play. So for the first person it turns out doesn't play football, does play hockey, does play tennis does not play volleyball, so in total this person plays two sports. The next person actually does play football, does not play hockey, does not play tennis, does not play volleyball, so only plays one. The third case does play football, does play hockey, does play tennis, does not play volleyball. So that's three. And the last one actually does not play football, does not play hockey, and does play tennis and volleyball, so that's another two. 
again I have to evaluate every time each separate case for each separate variable. If I would have coded this as a 0 and 1 then all I need to do is actually add these up 1 plus 1 so actually 0 plus 1 plus 1 plus 0 nicely gives me immediately the result of 2 and here it's 1 here it becomes 3 and here it becomes uh, 2 so I hope by showing these two examples you see the convenience of actually coding something as 0 1 rather than 1 2 now it doesn't matter much for SPSS because you can always recode a variable but you might want to avoid having to recode something by just coding it straight away as a 0 or 1.